What's up guys? Welcome to the Seattle Mechanical Keyboard Meetup 2018, the first of the year. Once again, we're here at the Living Computer Museum. Let's check out what everyone else has in store. Wrong place. Hey guys, what's up? Not much! Can I have a shirt? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so I don't usually bring keyboards to these events. Lame. It's because I always have my camera gear, this guy right here, and a bunch of tripods and just tons of battery, it's just too much gear to carry, but I did bring three keyboards this time. First one being x 60%, I really, really like it. The next one being the Varmelo full-size EC keyboard. These are some of the smoothest linear switches I've ever tried. And last but not the least, it's my Dolch Pack 60 without keycaps. I'm actually saying goodbye to this today because I'm selling it off, so bye-bye, bye-bye. So I really like the poker, Vortex poker, 60%, uh, so I use it for work for um, I do graphic design and web design, and it's the smallest that I've been able to go to like stay productive, but also condense workspace on my desk and that sort of thing. 40% uh, is too small for that sort of thing. It's a little more tedious, but I really like the poker with the clears. It's nice and tactile. So, yeah. I'm at the QMK table. Hey guys, what's QMK all about? So QMK stands for Quantum Mechanical Keyboard Firmware. And what it does is that it installs a, a quantum drive inside your keyboard. And then after that, you can go use faster than life travel to travel to different planets and different galaxies. And now, so so what happens is there are several galaxies that all process everything. Every time you type something into your keyboard, there's there's like a separate pocket dimension that processes that uh, key switch and sends the data back to you. Isn't there a barbecue place like? Jack would be proud of these people. So it's about 12:15 right now, and this I've got to say is one of the nicest keyboards I've seen here. It's an Ortho Linear M65A with custom PCB. I'm actually not sure, or maybe it's hand-wired, can't really tell. And, and... Opposite one, they got a black middle with red thread, which, oh, which also looks very good. Hi, I'm Damien. This is a, a Mechie 96. This is my favorite board right now. Um, I built this just a couple of months ago. Uh, the circuit board in the case uh, from a guy on uh, Make Market. Um, these key switches are Kali Speed Bronze. They're quite nice, but they do actuate very, very easily. You tend to have to float your fingers on them. Uh, this keycap is one of the original uh, group buys organized on Geekhack. 
uh, back in 2011, 2012, I think, uh, by Samwise Koi. Um, they're quite nice, ABS, getting a little shiny. But it's a really nice colour scheme. That's a big swatch of it. Uh, this is my favourite rubber dome. It's a uh, Hewlett Packard keyboard from about 91, I think. This is what Hewlett Packard were putting on their PCs when they were competing with IBM's PS2s and the Model M keyboards. For a rubber dome, it's quite quite slick. You can see it has a quite a nice, quite a nice, unique profile. No, a beautiful just, colour scheme. This one is my Your favorite one? So this is what I call the super board. It's semi-ortholinear. Oh, why is it semi-ortholinear? So the alphas are ortholinear, but the rest of the keys are their normal sizes. So it allows you to have ortholinear typing experience, but still have the larger keys that you might be used to. Okay. What what key set is that? Just a blank? Is that DSA? It is DSA. I got it from an online store called MetKey Alpha. It didn't really have a brand's name associated with it, but it had a lot of keycaps and they're great quality PB2. Is this like the first keyboard you built? It's the, full, it's the first full-size keyboard I've built. I have other... Or full, full, first actual typing keyboard I've built. I've built other things like this number pad, but I don't consider that a full keyboard because it's a number pad. Well, thank you very much, Benjamin. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. online or no webcat. This is my favorite keyboard. I personally own this. It is a Leopold 660M. So it has two MX brown switches, which are so far my favorite switches. Um, and the reason why I love this keyboard so much is that it does have the dedicated cursor keys. So even though I use Vim, I still want the cursor keys for other applications. Uh, and I can also use the insert and delete keys to kind of customize and program them to do other things. So this one is play pause, and this one minimizes my currently open window. So that's the main reason why I like it, and it's got a smaller form factor, which looks really nice on my desk. So that's it. That's my keyboard. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the meetup. You may have noticed that there were less people this time around. It's because we capped the RSVPs at around 120. We just figured that two to 300 people would make the LCM way too tight, way too crowded. So it turned out to be a good idea. Anyway, I had some highlights from this meetup. The first being, let's see. Favorite keyboards. My favorite ones were the M65 Ortholinear, which I may or may not have dropped too hard. And the E6 V2. And someone brought one of those massive Alps based Sony video editing boards. It was like that big. Um, I think some people used them for BKE domes, but this particular version only had Alps. And let's see. Some other cool things at the meetup were Jack Humbert, the creator of QMK, was basically there, well, telepresencing through one of those telepresence bots, and he just wandered throughout the whole area. He, he even live-streamed the event from his point of view, so make sure you check that out. There was the new but old DSS profile that Melissa from Signature Plastics brought along. And there was a strong fingers game. Basically, it's 
you type as many words as you can in a 30 second time interval. But the gotcha is that the keyboard you're using has really, really heavy switches. I think the maximum was 30 words, but oh gosh, I think I got 19 at probably my fifth try. We also had a bunch of activities such as the QMK Genius Bar. People could ask all their QMK questions. There was a hardware table similar to the QMK bar but hardware questions and there was an artisan sculpting table and a let's see oh yeah there was a tea party hosted by Tiny T you can check it out in the links below and at the very end there was a trivia I was actually the one who made the trivia questions and I think they might have been a bit too hard but hopefully everyone learned something in the end Anyway, thank you very much to the LCM, Keys, to all our volunteers, and to everyone who came out to visit. I hope you all had fun. For all of you interested in learning more about keyboards or just wanting to know the community, make sure you look for one of these in your area. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.